Hey, I'm back and look at this beautiful man. So good looking, so pristine, so perfect. This is one BBG over here, one big boy Gampla. With his beautiful looks and his beautiful red shield and that cute butt. But let's see how all this happened. This is the first stage of the build. So far, so good. The plastic looks a little bit cheap and thin and uh, on the poor quality. But overall, uh, the gold accents all over the kit looks really nice. The backpack, backpack looks nice. The thrusters looks nice. These gold accents are really nice. And the pistons. I was really surprised by the pistons, how nice they move uh, and the articulation so far is really great especially on the hands, a little bit on the neck I activate the LEDs over here and uh, uh, there are a lot of small problems that uh, kinda uh, I was expecting because this is a third party Gampla you can see the cockpilot the cockpit <laughs> you can see the cockpit with the pilot inside uh, the waist is abysmal the waist is really really bad and um, I was really really disappointed I, I, I knew it was gonna be bad but not that bad and you can take out this um, pilot uh, cock cockpit thingy you can see the little man inside in there and this is the empty husk of the granddaddy as I said the plastic feels a little bit cheap and here is his weapon, his uh, saber thingy and it lights up like a uh, lightsaber uh, but the light, the LEDs was, were freak flickering they weren't very stable, but at the end I got them to work and it's okay, it looks good, I have to admit and uh, I don't know where I can find another battery like uh, this Sabre has, but it works and these are the hands, I painted the hands in antique steel and it looks really nice, I really prefer it that uh, dark blue, the original uh, it's good, but it's not as good as my version. And here I can show you some articulation. The feet are nicely done. They can move uh, right and left, up and down. So far, so good. Uh, I didn't expect to have so many uh, little moving parts. And these are the pistons. Look how beautiful they are. I painted gold uh, the accents in the end, but still they look so good. I also painted the red on the knees over there, if you can see, but I was really surprised by the pistons. They look so nice and so shiny. The kit is a little bit stiff. You have to really put some strength on it. And the articulation on the hand is pristine. I didn't expect it to move so much and at so many levels. Uh, I don't have any complaints here. The articulation so far is really beautiful and, the, and I can't get past over that uh, those pistons. They are pretty nice looking. And this is the second stage and it looks a lot more better. All these shiny parts on the head, uh, these Vulcans are really nice. The silver mohawk looks really beautiful. It doesn't have a face yet, but it will. And you can see all that silver metallic parts look so nice. I painted the cockpit with metallic uh, Caribbean blue and uh, dark blue, I think and it looks really beautiful. I painted these uh, parts gold and this gold I really like. Normally it looks like that, this gray over here, but I wanted, I wanted to give it some spice, you know. I cannot leave anything uncustomized. I painted the back also gold 
the thrusters look really nice and those silver parts look really nice also the hands have these silver metallic parts look really really cool and you have this goat on his legs that I painted also normally they were grey and they look so good in this goat accent I didn't expect to turn out like that and the silver on the back of the legs looks really nice I'm really pleased so far uh, I was thinking oh this is these are the grills the metallic uh, sticker stickers that you need to glue because uh, normally they don't stick uh, as they come so I used a little bit of glue and you can see here the side grills on the arm looks really really good really professional this cost 135 euros for the money it looks really really good I was not expecting that yes the plastic feels cheap but uh, the build was smooth and I really liked it and this is the end result ladies and gentlemen look how beautiful it came up I have put so many hours in this kit that's why I was late with uploading this review and it took me a lot of hours I work a full-time job 9 to 5 and coming every night to this kit uh, was a little bit of a chore but look how beautiful it looks I have panel lined everything I applied all the water slides in the world I have painted many little things on the kit the shield attaches really nicely to the back of the hand you can see this metallic part on his arm and there is this hatch that you can put down and up you can hide this part wherever you like and it's uh, magnetic I think I'm not sure this is the magnetic part the part and overall this kit looks amazing it has a lot of problems I'm not gonna deny that but if you're going to put this on a shelf it's going to look pristine I painted these parts over there metallic red I gave it three tones it had two already you can see the three tones of red over there I painted, uh, painted the back metallic red also and I painted the backpack antique still it looks really nice if you open these panels you will see the small details that I also painted in red and gold they look beautiful the thrusters I didn't do anything with them because they look fine as they are I paint this antique still looks great and the copper oh my god the and this is the problem I was talking about the waste is abysmal it's weaker than a vegan baby I mean throw that waste uh, uh, away but these copper parts open and close and uh, if you put some decals on them look really nice I painted uh, this metallic blue that you see here I made two tones of the breast uh, chest <laughs> of the of the front of the chest and um, the decals the water slides uh, look really nice on this kid I painted also the the mouth and I accidentally activated the LED LEDs again this is another problem with the kid uh, but it didn't bother me that much and look all the details on the skirt on the legs look so beautiful so pristine and this is a 135 euro kit again I'm really surprised I painted the bottom of the toes orange as you can see and it's really difficult to put together Humpty Dumpty again look how much pressure I have to apply I nearly broke broke that thing so you can attach the waist again I mean the waist is abysmal this front thing opens on the toes 
these panel lines, uh, panels uh, open on the feet as well. You have to be careful because everything falls apart really easily, but still it opens. Uh, it doesn't reveal anything, but uh, it's, it's still nice to have. That goes up and down. These panels on the knees open and reveal some nice silver and gold, uh, which is really nice. The smaller panel opens uh, also. Uh, I mostly like the panel on the knee. And the side panels also open, but you have to be careful because look at that. I took apart the whole thing. And here it is. It opens a little bit, not much, but hey, it's something, right? It reveals that horrible plastic. And uh, not that good, so therefore I'm gonna keep it closed. And another problem with the kit is that uh, when you open up these panels and you want to close them again they don't close all the way you have really to push hard and fiddle with them in order to get back in the right position exactly as you wanted uh, at the end i didn't pay much attention i left it like like that because it's still the kit still looks amazing, but uh, it's small, small things, you know? And the panels open all the legs up there on the thighs really nicely. They reveal a little bit of silver. The skirts also open, but again, be careful because this uh, kit is a little bit of a hand grenade everything falls apart if you don't glue it uh, there you are it opened and revealed nothing but still nice to have and here is the waist coming off again the whole chest thing it's really brittle this panel yellow thing is open up on the back also. Really nice. That waist, I really can't get past that waist. And that chest, also really brittle. Look at that thing. It's like talking to you. I'm bad! This panel uh, on the front open also. Oh, it came off. That's okay it back in and you have to put some muscle to open the other panel but overall it, it looks nice the front panel also opens and you reveal oh again it came off oh man this is not going well and this whole cockpit uh, opens up you can reveal the small man inside looks really nice I wish uh, it will. I wish it was a little bit more stable, but hey, what can you do? It's a third-party Gampla from the band, so I'm not expecting much. The hands look uh, really nice. You can op open these panels if you want to, but mine doesn't want to open, so I'm trying the other panel on the other hand. And there you can see some silver on the side. All these small details makes all the difference in the world because it's a bad kit but for presentation purposes it's really nice. The uh, foot moves up and down, left and right. The articulation, I was surprised with the, once again with the articulation, I don't have any complaints there because everything moves and you have to put some muscle to move everything but in the end it still moves and the toes move in the front uh, up and down which is really nice and you have the legs which reveals the pistons but they hide the most beautiful part of the pistons which is that silver chrome part 
But anyway, uh, the articulation on the leg is uh, nice. Look all the parts that move when you bend the knee. Looks really, really beautiful. Here is the other leg. And it looks really nice. It can bend all the way but still hides the silver chrome pistons, which I was really disappointed. Which I don't understand why. Why do you hide all the beautiful things in the wall? But uh, anyway, the kit looks once again really, really good. Yes, it has its problems, but still, look how beautiful it looks. And it can do the splits. Oh my God, what a gymnast. And uh, you can put the legs all the way back and in the front. Once again, the knee band, so nice and so dandy. Oh my god. Let's put that down. And the articulation on the hand, on the arm, it's really nice too. Two point joints over there, uh, moves really nicely up and down and look at that joint over there. All, all the freedom in the wall. Uh, of course a lot of panels will fall but they go back in really easily. So don't fiddle with it too much. Uh, the arm does a 360 the front arm moves really nicely. I mean, once again, the articulation, it's really nice on the kid. Oh, there goes the hand. We lost it, but we put it back in again. Don't be too harsh, just be careful. Everything moves, but needs to smooth slowly. The head goes left and right. Those pistons on the neck looks really nice though they don't move really much, very much. It can nod, it can, it can do the Exorcist 360 head spin, which is really scary, and it can nod. And here's the LEDs on the head. They are bad. The LEDs are really bad, they really, really weak. Uh, they have modes, they can change colors, red, uh, orange and green and stuff, but are so they are so weak and you have to take out the chest uh, part, the head part and put it back in to turn, to turn it off. But one good part is the saber. It lights up really nicely. Sometimes the light f flickers, but you can uh, fix that. But look how beautiful it looks and it starts as this yellow on the base and uh, it turns to deep red at the end, looks really nice, I really like it. And here are the accessories, first off the shield, it looks pristine, I painted the side of the shields metallic red. I don't know if you can see it. All the decals are, the water slides are clear and of top quality. This part goes up and down. You can hide yourself. You can play peekaboo with the enemies. You can put this part on the shield to attach it to the arm. But, and you can move this part up and down but I was really struggling, as you can see here, to move this part up and down. After a lot of struggle, I managed to move it a little bit. There you go. But be careful not to break anything, because the plastic is brittle on the kit. The plastic on the kit is bad. But it looks great. Look how beautiful this shield looks. Oh my god. And this is my pride and joy. The weapon, the rifle, I painted the rifle antique steel, uh, black matte and sprinkled some dust on it. Uh, it looks really nice, the barrel is uh, silver painted 
uh, this part moves up and down the magazine the light moves up le left and right over here and I painted this part white it wasn't white I painted white because it looks really nice and it matches the colors of the Gundam uh, overall I'm really pleased with this rifle looks really nice really pristine and with the decals oh my god and these are the fists in the end with the antique steel paint they look really really nice and you also get two small figurines first up this beautiful lady which uh, you can paint uh, and give her all the details in the world but I don't have the time and the energy to do that and let's say this beautiful man over here is Amuro Rei I don't think it's Amuro Rei but let's say he is and also you get the core fighter look how beautiful he is I didn't do anything to it I didn't customize it everything is ori original I didn't panel line anything or applied any water slides because I'm not gonna use this one you can see the pilot inside the co cockpit you transform it like that and you could put it in the waist of the granddaddy but I'm not gonna use this one I'm gonna put it aside and uh, display it as it is I don't want to fiddle I don't want to do any more work on this kit <laughs> I already did a lot of work and at the end I tried posing this beautiful man but that hand of his can't stand the weight of the gun and the shield together so I prayed I did voodoo I meditated nothing worked so I'm gonna have to tighten those holes later uh, at the end I took off the shield fixed it uh, and put it back together so should you get that uh, kit the Daban version uh, yes because for the money you're getting a lot of Gundam if you customize it and put it on a shelf it looks great but if you have the money buy the Bandai version because the Bandai version the plastic it's top quality uh, you won't have those problems you see here the waste is still a problem it's still weak but it's not as bad as uh, this kit yes this kit looks amazing but it has a lot of problems so if you want quality product buy the Bandai one uh, but I, I, I was still pleased with this one so thank you for watching like the video if you liked it I put a lot of hours on it and see you next time bye